So, have you ever thought about how painting and coding are oddly similar? Like, both have a blank canvas and endless possibilities. Now, imagine mixing the two. That's exactly what I've been up to. Dabbling with AI in visual arts. It's a whole new ball game, mate. Sam mentioned something about VR art installations. That got me thinking. And I met this dude, Andy. He could help me pull off the VR part. Chris, the tech artist. Quite a title, eh? Heck, Rach even compared me to Leonardo da Vinci of the AI era. Kids in school used to call me Da Vinci. See the full circle? Just joking, mate. Seriously, though, I feel more like a toddler with finger paints. It's just pure exploration now, and who knows where it'll lead. But I'm excited. Got a bit of extra inspiration from your secret arugula pesto recipe, Rach. Food for the brain, right? Anyway, guess what? I had a Portuguese custard tart for lunch today, out of the blue. Deliciously creamy and subtly sweet. It's like a humble reminder of embracing the simple joys of life amongst the chaos. On that note, have you tried anything out of the ordinary lately, or still sticking to those good old burgers? Sometimes, I just have these random shower thoughts. Like, if a soap falls on the floor, does the soap get dirty or the floor get clean? Weird, huh? Speaking of which, have you ever used Lush for your showers? Might not have the homemade touch of Rachel's pesto, but the aroma is something. Did you catch the new episode of Squid Game? I mean, the plot is thickening so much I could cut it with a knife. For the love of God, don't give out spoilers. Who do you think will survive till the end? Also, just finished reading Homo Deus by Yuval Noah Harari. It's mind-boggling. Any good reads you'd recommend? All right, mate. I should probably stop yammering and head back to those lines of code. So, today felt like a cultural voyage of sorts. Made a pit stop at this Korean-American fusion joint in Harlem, where the chef, Ji Woo, is cooking up magic. His signature dishes, bulgogi burger, and kimchi mac and cheese, felt like a literal taste of my roots intertwined with American food culture. It was like seeing Monet and Van Gogh colours blend into a single painting. You know, Sam did wet my appetite for burgers the other day, chat biking. But trust me, mate, this bulgogi burger is miles ahead in the fusion game. Spicy, smoky, a little sweet, all sandwiched within this golden, slightly toasted bun. Now that I've whetted your appetite, we could all plan to visit when you guys are in town. And oh, speaking of Jiwoo, he's got quite the knack for blending flavours. It's almost like coding, huh? He carefully selects ingredients, almost like choosing the right programming language, then blends them in perfect proportions, just like how we set those algorithms. And the end result. An extraordinary dining experience. Makes me wonder, what if we could code our meals someday? What if we had an algorithm for the perfect sandwich or the ideal spaghetti? You remember Elon Musk from TED Talk saying, we're all living in a simulation. Maybe, just maybe. We're just a few lines of code away from creating our perfect culinary universe inside this big simulation we live in. Oh, got a little carried away there, mate. That's the side effect of being immersed in the addictive world of AI, my friend. Anyway, just curious. Did you try something new today? Or still surfing in your comfort zone with your beloved burgers? Speaking of, have you ever taken a shower to the melodies of an indie pop song? I suggest giving it a whirl turns even a mundane shower into an exclusive concert. But remember, the experience is best completed with a lush soap. You might not find it as invigorating as Rachel's homemade arugula pesto, but believe me, it's got quite the zesty aroma to it. All right, how could I forget to ask? Have you kept pace with the Squid Game episodes? Seriously, every single episode feels like a mountain summit, leaving me breathless. Try to guess who'll survive in the end. Well, no spoilers, please. Anywho, gotta wrap up. My keyboard is glaring at me, mate. It's high time I dove back into the pool of codes. Hmm. So, Sam, I thought a lot about your point. Was pondering as I was doing my daily exercise. You know, the switching off part. Or as you jokingly call it, Chris's reboot time. Reckon it's a bit hard when your startup becomes like your baby. It's not just the lines of code or algorithms. 
It's a dream, the dream of making AI accessible to anyone and everyone. But today we all sat across a metaphorical bonfire. Sarah and I decided to hold this fireside chat about work-life balance and stress management. Important stuff. Feels like half the battle is just talking about it, opening up to each other. A problem shared is a problem halved, as they say. It's been a challenge with the team pouring blood, sweat and tears into building Neural Nest. I mean, we're trying to create something that'll leave an impact in the world. But that doesn't mean we should lose ourselves in the process, kinda like those pawns in a game of Go. Always on the edge, but crucial for the win, right? Speaking of Go, haven't had a chance to pick up the game in a while. Maybe with the new well-being initiatives, I'll get to pick up some hobbies again. Maybe even have a chance to go hiking. So yeah, Overwatch and yoga on the well-being agenda. Apparently, Rachel swears by the power of a downward dog. You know, Sam, somehow it wouldn't surprise me if there were an indie pop track about yoga. Seems like they're always cooking up something new. And food boy, do I miss trying out new cuisines. It's been too long since I tried something quirky like a breakfast burrito from a Parisian boulangerie. The blending of different food cultures sounds strangely enticing. Fusion cuisine. The next culinary wonder, eh? Oh, I almost forgot, Sam. Do share that indie pop track. I'm always on the lookout for inspiring tunes, especially during those marathon coding nights. A good rhythm can work wonders on the mind. Any new suggestions, Rach? Maybe that Tour de France playlist you once mentioned? All right, so anything interesting in your universe today, or was it just another burger day? Also tried that indie pop shower experiment yet. I'm telling you. It's magical. But don't forget the lush soap. It adds an extra oomph to the experience. And hey, did you manage to sneak in the latest episode of Squid Game? The suspense is killing me, but keep your spoilers to yourself. I haven't caught up yet. Also managed to fit in some reading last night. Homo Deus by Yuval Noah Harari. Mind-blowing stuff, mate. Give it a go if you have time. All right, I can hear my keyboard calling. Those neural nest lines aren't going to code themselves. Let's catch up soon.